Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming War Plague Inc. Evolved Custom Scenarios. I don't remember if this was a request or something I found on my own, but I do have something on my list. It's called Parasite Eve by Eric Modi. The evolution of Neomitochondria and Mitochondria Eve has begun. Take control of the infection and end nucleic domination once and for all. What? Uh, I don't know. Okay, this is on my list for some reason, so I'm assuming someone either asked for it or I found it was interesting. Bacteria type. ATP boost, Darwinist, Aquasac, Humophile, and Symptostasis on normal difficulty. Neomitochondria. Eve has arisen! At a concert in New York City's Carnegie Hall, a being calling herself Eve has appeared, bringing with her the evolution of Neomitochondria. Eve and the Neomitochondria which empower her must grow, becoming more formidable until Eve can birth the ultimate being. Oh, I'm already lost, but this sounds good. All right, we're starting off in the USA. Horrible starting location. Let's see how this works out. Transmissions. Bats. Bats become carries of neomitochondria and potential NMCs. I'm guessing that's the neomitochondrias or something. Increasing infectivity and the mutation chance. Hefty amount of infectivity. All right, we'll pick that up. Rodents. Neomitochondrial rats can get anywhere and are almost impossible to detect. Increasing infectivity, especially in urban, which is very good for the USA. And then we have blood one. Influence and infect mitochondria in blood cells at close range. Increasing infectivity in poor regions and more mutation chance. Then we have birds. Then we have insects. All right, fairly standard, but set up in a very different way. Symptoms. NMCs. Neomitochondria are capable of turning small animals into deadly NMCs. Slightly increases in effectiveness in all conditions. I could certainly use that. It's also got a tiny bit of lethality behind it. Parasite energy. Tap into the amazing power Neomitochondria can produce in their hosts. Harder to cure. Okay. Abilities. We have drug resistance, neomitochondrial resilience, which looks like just generic bacterial resilience, and we have neomitochondrial evolution. Learn how to most effectively rewrite their hosts into whatever they need, increasing mutation chance. So it's got some of the benefits of the bacteria and some of the benefits of the virus type, but none of the cold and heat resistance, so we have to rely on the neomitochondrial um, um, uh, um, shell. I got distracted here. Ayabria. What the heck is that? NYPD detective Ayabria has awakened her own neomitochondrial powers and has vowed to stop Eve at all costs. What the heck are these powers that we're speaking of? I don't know. Are we the good guys? Are we the bad guys? I'm pretty sure we're the bad guys. I generally am the bad guy in some way or another, right? I think we want to go for birds. The extra uh, transmission chance for land is going to be pretty helpful getting out of the United States. Also, then there's air. Good for the arid environments and plane transmission. So I could certainly use that to get out of the United States to somewhere else a little bit sooner if possible. Also, I think, yeah, Mexico is considered to be arid, which makes sense. So let's go ahead and pick that up next. Again, hoping to get out of there as soon as we can. NMCs. That leads to more NMCs. More creatures can be transformed. Signi uh, slightly increasing the effectiveness in all conditions. Again, increasing lethality as well as a bunch of other stuff. Um, don't necessarily need that right now. Don't necessarily need that. I think I need to get the drug resistance so we can spread faster in the United States. We did get into Canada, but that, again, is a wealthy nation where we're going to have a hard time spreading. Got into Mexico. That's at least a little bit better. Drug resistance should increase things a lot faster. And now we are getting into the rest of Europe. Okay. Um, don't want that yet. So I'm going to go for the blood that leads to dogs, which is good in urban. Urban is helpful. We should be in China now, which is urban as well, so I definitely can get behind that. Um, yeah, let's pick up dog. That leads to wolf one. Good in the rural areas. All right, sure, why not? Now, when you start in the United States, I don't remember which of the island nations becomes the harder to get into. I think it's Madagascar and Greenland end up being the hardest, generally, but we'll see. Let's go for insects for the heat transmission. Then there is water transmission for 17 DNA over here, which I wouldn't mind getting. More NMCs mutated on their own. So far, I'm really not having to worry about symptoms at all. So now we have some water transmission. That should make things easier as well. Okay, we're getting around. Now I need to get things like the wolves. Let's see what's at the center. Extreme adaptation. Neomitochondria are able to survive in almost any environment for any length of time and adapt to infect anything. So basically just across the board boosts, yeah? Uh, do I want to do that? I mean, we did get into Madagascar pretty quickly, actually. So we're only missing Greenland, Indonesia, and... Oh, sorry, not Indonesia. New Guinea and the Philippines. The Philippians. I don't, know, I don't know. Maybe we're okay. Maybe we don't need this. 24 DNA. It's probably going to end up being very expensive. Advanced NMCs. Larger and more powerful animals become larger and more powerful. 
Slightly increased effectiveness in all conditions. Okay. I'm going to go for some bacterial resilience. Maybe two of them, actually. And then also some drug resistance. And we're going to really ramp up my ability to spread. I think we might be able to get into places like Greenland and stuff on our own without too much help from here on out. Uh, severity is a little bit high, but not the worst. Um, they've started working on the cure, so we'll go for some Parasite Energy. Eve alters the body of her host, Melissa Pierce, becoming a more formidable threat. Harder to cure, alright. That leads to Mitochondrial Gel. Create a great gelatinous mass of Neo-Mitochondria to increase Eve's power. Again, harder to cure. Um, yeah, it seems fine. Um, um, do we want evolution? I honestly don't know if we're going to need it. Let's go for the extreme adaptation, and yeah, we could go for the evolution just to help us get the symptoms for free. Ayabria harnessing parasite energy. Oh, great, she's using our own power against us. She's learned to use the power of the neo-mitochondria against NMCs, fighting and killing them in massive displays of power. Severity is increased. Okay, we got into the Philippines, so all we're missing at this point is Greenland, right? Well, as far as islands are concerned, anyway. Um, alrighty, well... Let's go for the evolution chance and also the resilience. And also... Slow down the cure again. Body modification 2. Eve alters herself more thoroughly to prepare for the next stage of her plan. Harder to cure once again. Superior NMCs. Effectiveness in all conditions again. More lethality adding on to the pile. I really just need to make sure that we get into Greenland, though. There it is. All right, we're in Greenland. So I think at this point we're good to go. Let's go ahead and start ramping up um, lethality with superior NMCs. That leads to mitochondrial overdrive. Become more powerful, increasing effectiveness, and harder to cure. All right, we're going to go for a really hard to cure. Then we have ANMCS. Humans thought they couldn't be transformed, but they were wrong. Suckers. NMC bosses, exceptionally large and powerful NMCs intended to defeat, or at least delay, Ayabria. Offsets event penalties. Do we need to do that right now? I don't think so. Insemination. Acquires the last thing she needs for her plan to birth the ultimate being. You don't need to know what the thing is, nor do you need to know what the ultimate being is. Just understand it's, it's the last one and that it's really bad. Neo-mitochondrial womb. Using the mitochondrial gel, Eve forms a massive incubator for the ultimate being. All right, well, there's the womb. Um, we have pretty good evolution chance or mutation chance, so we're pretty good there. We have infected the world extremely early, so that didn't take too long. Let's go for the bosses, and that leads to the ultimate being. It has been born. Humanity is doomed to be enslaved by neo-mitochondria. Alternate victory. Alternate victory? You're telling me that I'm supposed to be able to actually just, like, kill everybody? Because my lethality is actually not too bad. Never mind, lethality is fine. Mist activated. The Mitochondria Investigation and Suppression Team, an adjunct of the FBI, is formed to hunt NMCs. Ayabria is their top agent. Increasing the research speed. But there's the ultimate being, which means we just win, right? Yes, we win! Ultimate being has been born! Eve has birthed the ultimate being, who has spread neo-mitochondria across the globe. Neo-mitochondria control all their hosts completely, leaving all life as slaves to these powerful parasites. Nucleic domination has come to an end. Well, interesting. I actually just took a small break to look up Neo-Mitochondria because I'm like, I wonder if this is a reference to something. And sure enough, it is. Parasite Eve is actually apparently like a game or something. And uh, lots of creatures do get turned into these NMCs and are, they are the cannon fodder of the game or whatever it is. So 249 days. That's pretty darn quick. We did really well there. 15% cure progress. 102,765 points. Three stars overall. That's a pretty good turnout for me. Yeah, I have never played uh, Parasite Eve or read Parasite Eve or wait, is it a book or is it a game? Hang on. It's a role-playing game, a horror role-playing game for PlayStation. Ah, yes, that explains why I've never done anything with it. I never have owned a PlayStation, but okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, it seems pretty good. I don't really know a whole lot about the subject matter, but I guess now it makes a lot more sense to so those who have played the game. Cool, you'll appreciate this in ways that I currently can't. Aside from that, though, putting all that aside, it's actually a perfectly fine scenario. If anything, it's a little bit easy. Uh, just in terms of how quickly you can evolve all your symptoms and such. But, um, yeah, not bad. Turned out just fine for us. I'm pretty interested now. I may have to look up this Parasite Eve thing and find out what it's all about. In the meantime, thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>